Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent. So today we made some huge progress with collections. We bought a lot of cards and we're pretty close to pretty much completing everything, but we're really not also. We'll go over everything that we collected and we'll show off that progress. We also have the weekly wonders for today. So we'll go over that and then we do have a few packs to open up towards the end. So let's get started with pretty much the weekly wonders. We'll go with that one first. So this week, a little bit different. We got a classic stadium as the main reward, but same format as always. So we got some moments to do. This time I already did them instead of like doing it in the video. I don't know if you guys want to see them in the video or not, but we just played them, you know, earlier on and finished those off. So you got to get on base one time with a Jackie Robinson. You have to hit a home run with Sammy Sosa. You have to tally a hit with Ken Griffey Jr., you have to tally six total bases with Ian Kinsler. And then you have to tally two extra base hits with Mike Trout. So those are five moments right there. And then as far as the missions go, you have to tally 42 innings pitch. So this one's kind of a lot. This is why we didn't do this mission right here. And then you have to tally 42 total bases. So I pretty much was working on our mini season. We're pretty close to getting that done. And honestly, tomorrow we should have that done. And then you have to get 500 parallel XP with Dodgers players. So, you know, depending on what you're working on, mini seasons, conquests, online events, you know, whatever it is, you'll naturally get like the innings and total bases. You will obviously need Dodgers in your lineup if you're trying to get this one also. But you just always need seven of the eight. Now, as far as the rewards go this week, you get 500 stubs, you get 1,000 XP, you get a show pack, you get 500 stubs, another or a ball and is a habit pack, a thousand stubs and a classic stadium with 4,200 XP. So really quick, since we're talking about XP, we did get ourselves another bonus reward right here. So this time, and I think this is the first time we landed on this, we got the world baseball classic slash charisma pack. So something different, you know, it's another gold reward, but I feel like our rewards have been pretty good so far. We got 29 days to keep getting rewards. And I've said this before, this has definitely been my favorite thing so far with how like the, the season is and the XP reward path because we're making so much stubs just from that XP reward path. So with that said, let's go on to our collections. We'll show off, I guess, what we ended up completing and then I guess uh, maybe like what we bought the players at. But we did get a lot of teams done. So let's just start off with the Padres. This is a team we, we tried to get done yesterday. But we picked up Manny Machado. I think I got him at, I think I got him around 34K. So we'll lock in this Padres collection. That's going to get us a 90 Jake PV card. And I really should take a look at some of these captain cards to see, you know, if any really fit my teams right now. But also, we haven't really played that much online. But, you know, when we're doing that, we'll probably have th some theme builds, you know, every, every episode we're kind of doing. We'll have to see. But... As far as this card, you know, there's already better cards out there. A lot of these captain cards, they're they're not high rated, but you know, with the captain boost and all that stuff, they can make other team or other players around better. So we also did the Phillies. Now with the Phillies, we had Trey Turner, and I think that was it actually. You know, that's the only diamond we pulled. I think we picked up Real Moto, Harper, Wheeler, and Nola. So that is gonna get us a 90 Cliff Lee card. And again, you know, better options out there, but he has 76 hit per nine, 84 K per nine, 93 walk per nine. Always a pitcher that has the control. So we did the Phillies collection right there. And then we also did the Marlins. So we picked up Alcantara and Jazz Chisholm. I think um, maybe maybe around 9.3 K around that mark. We'll definitely take a look at what we bought most of these players at. But we're going to get 89 Michael Lowell right here. I mean, good power versus lefties. That's about it with that card, I would say. Next team we ended up doing was the Braves. So we had Max Freed and I think we had Acuna also. So we picked up Strider, Harris, and Austin Riley. So we're going to get a 92 John Smoltz card. And that's a starting pitcher. If he was a bullpen guy, I might have been like, oh, you know, that might be a solid option. But we got starting pitcher John Smoltz, 83 hit per nine, 88 K per nine, 88 walk per nine. You know, there's that card right there. Let's see. Next thing. I think we're moving on to the AL. So for the AL, we got the Seattle Mariners. We picked up Julio Rodriguez. 
going to get us this 89 Ken Griffey Jr., which Griffey has always been one of my favorite players. This card, obviously, I wouldn't say is that good, but when a 99 Griffey comes along, we're definitely going to be using him pretty much the whole year. So this one just has good power versus right. I mean, is it really good power? It's an all right card, but he's he's OK. And he's always had one of my favorite swings, you know, and just in general, he has one of the nicest swings. But we got Ken Griffey Jr. and Julio Rodriguez. Next, we got Tampa Bay. So Shane McClanahan right here um, picked him up, I think, under 11.2K, what he's going for right now. So we're going to get this 89 Carlos Pena card. Good power numbers, 113 and 99. Really not that bad right there. He's a new legend technically in the game. So that's what we ended up getting. And then for the White Sox, we picked up Dylan C's. So we made a lot of moves. We made a lot of moves. We get Paul Canerco right here, 88 overall. Good power numbers against lefties. And then moving on, we got the Guardians. So Jose Ramirez, I think we bought him around 15K. Same with Class A, probably a little bit cheaper. So one thing I was waiting for is for some player prices to go down. We got Larry Doby right here. Actually, good contact versus righties. I would say good contact versus lefties and the power versus righties isn't that bad. But one thing I was waiting for, and this is like a rule of thumb, every Tuesday and Friday, because people are opening up packs, that's when like live series cards and just prices in general, I feel like go down. So I would say wait until Tuesdays and Fridays to maybe go after some players. That's kind of what I did. And I feel like we might've got some decent, you know, prices for some of these cards. We ended up picking up Byron Buxton as, I don't even care, but 12K, I think we got him for a little bit under for that. Uh, Joe Nathan is the reward. So bullpen arm, I got to see what his boosts are. Because if his boosts are anything okay, this might be a pretty solid bullpen guy. But 97 hit per nine, 108 K per nine. Uh, I like the per nines for what the card is. I think he has a pretty good pitch repertoire too. Something we'll definitely have to check out. And then we got the Astros. So this one, we had Altuve. We picked up Kyle Tucker. We picked up Jordan Alvarez. And we're going to get J.R. Richard. So 92 overall starting pitcher. Has 86 K per 9, 88 K per 9. I think he has, yeah, he probably is someone that has the outlier. I remember using him last year. You know, he has, he has that fastball right there. So let me see really quick. Oh, I mean, yeah, he does, right? Just an outlier too. Yeah, primary pitch is a slider though. Still not bad. And then, you know, we got what? The Dodgers, the Cardinals, the Yankees, the Mets the the rangers we made two big purchases we did the angels so we did pick up shohei otani and he's 136 i think i got him for 127 so that i felt like was was a decent buy right there and then we picked up mike trout he's going for 249 i think i spent 243 i think that's what i spent but those were our big guys, you know, I feel like we had to go after some of these 90 plus guys and for I guess today we decided it's going to be Shohei Otani and Mike Trout. So this is the first time the Angels aren't the last team I've done. <laughs> you know, normally they're always the last we get Tim Salmon right here 94 overall. I would say this is a solid card 106 contact versus righties 112 versus lefties got 90 power versus righties 105 versus lefties. So overall, not a bad card. I mean, it should be a good card for the amount of stubs you got to put into these Angels collections. But Otani, Trout, they joined the squad. And now we got five teams left. So these teams, kind of expensive. But we got the Yankees. We need Aaron Judge. He goes for 180K. You know, I, I probably should have went after him first, to be honest. But, hey, you know, he might end up being one of the last cards we end up getting. We got the Rangers in Jacob DeGrom. He's going for around 123K. So pretty much we'll kind of see how, you know, stuff plays out throughout a weekend. See if prices dip a little bit and then maybe we pick up some more of these guys. We got the Mets. So we got Edwin Diaz. I sold the one I have, but we might have to pick this car back up. He's going for 81K. We got Justin Verlander going for 71K and Max Scherzer going for 77K. So we'll have to see what we do with these three, but we might need them all. And then for the Cardinals. We got Arenado right now. He's supercharged. So I feel like because it's supercharged, his price went up a little bit. But then again, you know, he's playing good enough where he probably also will get upgraded too. you know, next roster update, which I believe is on the 21st. It should be next week, not this week, but next week. But Arenado, definitely a big purchase. And then Paul Goldschmidt going for 82K. 
And then we have Mookie Betts. So Mookie Betts has been pretty expensive. He's definitely been going up in price. He's at 152. I remember like the first couple of weeks he was around 100k. And now I'm thinking, why didn't I try to buy him then? <laughs> you know, but Mookie Betts is up there. So I think with the five teams we have left, we still need about 700k. So we still need some stubs, but still just getting like the angels done. We made a lot of progress today with collections. Did we get any of these cards right here? I think we did one of these divisions, right? Nothing for the West, the Central we might have did. Yeah, so we get 92 Joe Mauer. I don't know if that's good or anything, but he has 125 contact versus righties and 92 versus lefties. It's a 92 overall card. I wouldn't say there's that many good catchers out right now, but there's definitely better catchers than Joe Mauer. But versus righties, I still would use this card. So I guess, uh, I guess we can lock this one in. You know, we'll take that 2,000 stubs. We need our stubs and joe mauer it is so i still don't know what collection i'm gonna go after first obviously what i did today you know kind of messes everything up because i definitely i split it in half i could have definitely went after one division and got it done because i think we spent like five six hundred k stubs we spent a lot of stubs you know to get these teams done so i definitely could have split it in half and got a league done but i guess now we're just gonna we'll see what happens pretty much we'll just keep going and whatever happens happens but we did we did get that progress done which was pretty nice but now we got some packs to open up so we got nine show packs we got four ball and is a habit packs we got a classic stadium we got an nl west charisma pack and then the world baseball classic slash charisma choice pack so classic stadium kind of a weird uh reward for the weekly wonders but hey i mean we'll take it i guess what stadium do we like here we'll go sportsman park actually no i like i like the dimensions of crosley field i've always liked that stadium I, I like how it looks so we'll go with that nine show packs we didn't pack any any diamonds in our last show pack opening which was yesterday and i think we had like 30 packs we also didn't pack any the day before where we had like 23 or 25 something like that so like we're kind of due for a diamond we'll see if we hit but we all also only have nine packs so not really expecting to hit in nine packs but that's the thing about packs you know it can strike at any moment and we're always waiting for that moment pretty much nothing in these packs right here kind of the same with ballings too you know i feel like the packs the diamonds haven't really hit the last two or three days so nothing in this pack last show pack for us let's see if we get anything good nothing some bronze players so now four balling is a habit packs best chances of maybe getting a diamond nothing in that one we got Semyon. see if we hit in these next three this pack Another gold, Munoz, Munoz, whatever. Ah, SDS, another gold, Danny Jansen. Let's see if we hit in the last pack right here. And we don't. Sick, Kevin Gosman. So NL West Charisma Pack. Is this our last one? Probably not. We got Walker or Blackman. I don't, I don't really need any. Like I'm not working towards any of these team build missions for either the Diamondbacks or the Rockies. So it doesn't really matter who we end up choosing but let's go christian walker why not so we got that and then we have this world baseball classic slash charisma pack so let's see what we got here it's kind of weird that you can only get one of these now i don't even know i don't even know what cards are in each one of these right now um and if i need any i feel like i didn't get all the charisma cards but i don't think i liked any of the charisma players and I don't know if there's anything good left in the World Baseball Classic one. So I don't even know. Like, what am I supposed to pick right here? We'll go World Baseball Classic. Why not? I don't even remember who's in this pack and if anything is good. But let's see. Oh, we, oh, we know. We, okay. There's some, there's some options here, I guess. We got Teoscar Hernandez, Tim Anderson, and Freddie Freeman. They're all pretty cheap. They're all around 11K. We're probably just going to keep them. So yeah, let's go. Uh, he's really good against lefties. He's a great contact hitter. And Freeman, honestly, Freeman doesn't really look that good. He doesn't really look that good. I think we'll go T. Oscar Hernandez. We'll go with that card right there. And that's pretty much today's episode. Really quick, you know, we can kind of skim through our completed orders. So here we're just selling a lot of stuff. Do I have anything still active? Yeah, still a, stu a couple stuff that we're trying to sell right here. We were uh, clearing out our inventory, all our equipment, all our unlockables, stuff like that. So we sold a lot of stuff. 
And then as far as completed stuff goes, you'll see a lot of just sell duplicates, stuff like that. I always tell you guys sell the duplicates. We always do that too. So let me see where we were buying players to see if we got any good buys, like 15, 15K for Jose Ramirez, 13.2 for Class A right there, 11.5 for Julio, Riley at 8.2, Helsley at 6.7, Jazz Chisholm 8.8, .8, Alcantara at 9.9, .9, Buxton at 12, Seas at 8.2, Alvarez 10.1, Tucker 6.2. You know, I think these are decent buys. You know, we got a lot right there. 243 for Trout, 127 for Otani. I think those are pretty good. We did sell the 99 Machado we got from the Around the World 2 pack yesterday. So we sold that for 95K. That's kind of why we went after some of these collections also. And then we, we bought the one Machado for Live Series for 34K. So that's kind of where we're at. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like we're in a good spot. I still have a good amount of World Baseball Classic cards too. You know, we can look at like the collections right here. I think this is the easiest way to see it. But these guys, like we have seven Glaber Tours cards and then they go up or down in price. 18.3, you know, if we sell seven of those or probably six, like I'll hold on to one of them. But these are pretty good prices to the point where I think if we sell everything, because we have a lot of these cards, I think if we sell, how many do I have? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 of those cards at pretty much, you know, with the tax and stuff, we'll say 21 cards at 17.5K stubs. So we sell all that stuff then i'm pretty sure that's around I'm, I'm just gonna do the math really quick hold up <laughs> let me just see if we sell 21 at 21 times 17.5 why'd i do it that way i don't even know that's 367k stubs so we sell all those cards and then we have what 90 94k so add the 94k we're pretty much sitting at 461k stubs which we need like 700 maybe 800k for collections you know we're very close we're definitely going to be working towards that this week and we have the mini season that we're pretty much gonna finish up for tomorrow and with that we might also finish up team affinity we're really close to 100 percenting this so tomorrow's episode will be a team affinity mini season we'll have all those packs and maybe we have team affinity 100 percent complete also so that's kind of the agenda and what we're working on for the rest of this week. And, you know, if we pack anything good from all that stuff, then maybe we, we finish up these collections next week. So that's kind of what we're working towards too. But let me know what you guys are working on, if you guys packed anything good. And until the next one, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.